Jumamosi hii tarehe 17 Juni kwenye Jimbo Katoliki la Eldoret ama ukipenda LD waumini watawa na mapadre watakuwa kisherehekea siku ya kifamilia ya Jimbo hilo Sherehe hii itafanyika kwenye uwanja wa katedrali ya moyo mtakatifu wa Yesu mjini Eldoret kuanzia saa nne asubuhi Kiongozi wa ibada atakuwa mhashamu Dominic Kimengich askofu wa Jimbo la Eldoret baada ya ibada litafululiza zoezi la mchango wa kusaidia mipango ya kichungaji ya jimbo hilo. Kapuchin TV. Tunamtakia mhashamu askofu Kimengich, mapadre, watawa wa kike na wa kiume pamoja na waumini wote wa Jimbo Katoliki la Eldoret siku ya kifamilia yenye baraka na fanakatele. Runinga ya Kapuchin itakuletea ibada hii moja kwa moja hapa na kwenye mitandao yetu ya kijamii. Kwa mchango wako na maelezo zaidi Wasiliana na Padre Francis Kamau kupitia kwa 0725106093. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki. mtazamaji wa runinga ya Captain TV karibu katika sherehe zetu za siku ya leo ambapo tunapatikana katika jimbo kuu la Eldoret na tuko katika uwanja wa Eldoret katika sherehe ya siku ya familia kutuelezea mengi zaidi tutakuwa naye Father Kamau ambaye atatuelezea je sherehe hii yahusu nini na anatuambia nini kama sisi watazamaji wa runinga ya Captain karibu Father Asante sana sister. Kwa hivyo okay, ni mwaka wa tatu tangu Askofu Dominic kufika hapa. Eh, hii ni family day yetu pia wa ya baada ya corona. Na ndio unaona watu wamekuja kwa wingi sana hata tunakosa nafasi. Na tuko katika kanisa la moyo mtakatifu wa Yesu Kathedrali ya Eldoret. Na ikiwa jana ilikuwa ni sherehe ya moyo mtakatifu wa Yesu basi tumeweza kuifanya leo ili kuweza kusherekea kama familia ya diocese ya, ya, ya Katoliki ya Eldoret. Ndio. Kwa hivyo tunawakaribisha wote eh, wa, wa Kristo wetu wote tukuje tusherekee pamoja. Tutakuwa na misa alafu mchango wa familia eh, Jimbo la Eldoret ambao tunajenga eh, jumba la orofa nane naita St John Amani Center na pia tutakuwa tukiwatunuku watu mbalimbali ambao wamefanya mambo ya kusaidia kanisa wametupaya mashamba wengine wamekuwa wa makatekista kwa miaka mingi na hivyo tunakuwa tukiwa zawadi hivi ya leo asante Nam huyo amekuwa ni fadha Kamau ambaye ni mmoja wa wanahabari mapadri wa Jimbo Katoliki la Eldoret ajimbo ambalo lina maparokia 88 dekania kumi, mapadri zaidi ya moja ha, ha, sabini, wa seminaristi wengi ambao ni zaidi ya sabini, ha, watawa wa kike na wa kiume wa Kristo wako kwa wingi zaidi ya laki tano. tunaendelea kukaribisha mtazamaji wa runinga ya Captain TV kitambulisho katoliki uwe nasi katika shamra shamra hizi za siku ya leo tuweze kuomba na kuabudu pamoja na wakristu wa Eldoret jina langu ni Esther Moturi tuwe pamoja asanteni sana
lakini itaomba tuketi zote Nachukua nafasi hii kumwalika baba askofu wetu Dominic Mengich aweze kutukaribisha zote hapa na kwa niaba yake mwenyewe na kwa niaba yetu amuombe askofu mkuu atuongoze kwa misa ya leo askofu karibu Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Basi ningependa kujikua nafasi hii kwa karibisheni nyinyi nyote wa Kristo wa Jimbo la Eldoret, mapadri wetu, wageni wetu na kwa njia kipekee ningependa kuwakaribisha maaskofu wetu wakiongozwa na askofu mkuu wa Kisumu Ad Dauses makofi kwa maaskofu wetu Ningependa sasa kumkaribisha askofu mkuu Morris Muhati ya Makumba ambaye atatuongoza katika misa hii E, ili sasa aanze misa takatifu siku hii ya family day yetu ya jimbo la Eldoret Kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu Amani iwe nanyi Baba askofu wa Eldoret na ndugu zangu maaskofu kutoka katika majimbo yetu ya Metropolitan ya Kisumu mapadri watawa na wakristu wote wa Eldoret tumsifu Yesu Kristo Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Mungu ni mwema. Sisi maaskofu tulisikia leo kuna vitu vizuri hapa Eldoret. Tukaomba askofu tukuje tuwe na wewe. Akasema ndio. Alakubali akatualika tuje tujione utamu wa Eldoret pamoja na nyinyi ili labda tukishaonja na sisi pia tupeleke kwetu. Eh? kwa askofu wa sanda sana kutukaribisha kwa sherehe ya familia ya Jimbo la Eldoret sisi tunawahimiza kwa njia ya kipekee Mungu aongeze hekima na nguvu ili kazi ya kichungaji ipate kuendelea katika Jimbo letu la Eldoret kwa usaidizi wa Wakristo wetu wa Jimbo hili basi ndugu zangu tukiri dhambi zetu ili tupate kustahilishwa kuadhimisha mafumbo matakatifu. Na muungamia Mungu mwenyezi na nyinyi ndugu zangu kwa nini nimekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno kwa matendo na kwa kutotimiza wajibu nimekosa mimi Nimekosa mimi. Nimekosa sana. Ndio maana na muomba Maria mwenye heri, bikira daima, malaika na watakatifu wote, nanyi ndugu zangu, niombeeni kwa Bwana Mungu wetu. Mungu Mwenyezi atuhurumie, atusamee dhambi zetu, atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele.
tunasherekea sikukuu ya moyo mtakatifu wa Yesu ambayo ni sikukuu ya jimbo letu la Eldoret. Tuombe E Mungu mwenyezi tunaona fari juu ya moyo wa mwanao mpenzi na kukumbuka fadhili za ajabu za mapendo yake kwetu tunakuomba utujali yetu staili kupokea neema tele katika chemchemi hiyo ya karama za mbinguni kwa njia ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao Anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele
basi tutulie sasa tupokee neno la Mungu Somo la kwanza Somo katika kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati Musa alinena na watu akisema kwa kuwa huu taifa lililotakaswa kwa Bwana Mungu wako ndiwe ulechaguliwa lililotakaswa kwa na Bwana Mungu wako uwe taifa lake yeye kupita mataifa yote yaliyoko duniani Bwana amewapendelea ninyi na kuwateua si kwa sababu mu wengi kuliko mataifa mengine maana mu wachache kuliko wengine lakini ni kwa kuwa amewapenda ninyi ili atimize kiapo alichowaapia baba zenu ndiyo sababu bana aliwatoa kwa mkono wenye nguvu na kuwakomboa katika nyumba ya utumwa na katika uwezo wa farao falme wa Misri ujue basi kwamba bwana Mungu wako ndiye Mungu wa kweli Mungu mwaminifu atimizaye agano lake la mapendo yake hata kwa vizazi elfu kwa ajili ya wapendao na kushika amri zake lakini anawaadhibu wa mchukiao kila mmoja nafsini mwake anamwangamiza bila kukawia yule amchukiaye hata kwa adhabu ya pekee basi uzishike amri hizo sheria na hukumu ninazokuamuru leo uzitimize, uzitimize kwa matendo neno la bwana Zaburi ya kuitikizana Zaburi moja na tatu Fadhili za Bwana zinawamchao Fadhili za Bwana zinawamchao Tangu milele hata milele Tangu milele hata milele Fadhili za Bwana zinawamchao Tangu milele hata milele Fadhili za Bwana zinawamchao Tangu milele hata milele
kutia tajia fadhili na rehema fadhili za bwana Somo la pili Somo katika parua ya kwanza ya mtakatifu Yohane Wapendwa tupendane kwa kuwa upendo watoka kwa Mungu Na kila apendaye amesaliwa na Mungu na anamjua Mungu Asiyependa amchui Mungu kwa mahana Mungu ni upendo. Upendo wa Mungu umeonekana kwetu namna hii. Mungu amemtuma mwana wake mzaliwa wa pekee afike ulimwenguni tuupate uzima kwa yeye. Huu ndio upendo. Si kwamba sisi tulimpenda Mungu bali kwamba yeye alitupenda sisi akamtuma mwana wake hawe malipizi ya dhambi zetu wapendwa kama Mungu ametupenda hivyo imetupasa nasi kupendana hakuna aliyemwona Mungu lakini tukipendana Mungu ukaa ndani yetu na upendo wake umekamilika ndani yetu tunajua ya kuwa tunaishi ndani yake Naye anaishi ndani yetu kwa kuwa ametushirikisha roho wake. Sisi tumeona na kushuhudia ya kuwa baba amemtuma mwana hawe mwokosi wa ulimwengu. Kila akirie ya kuwa Yesu ni mwana wa Mungu, 
Mungu ukaa ndani yake naye ndani ya Mungu. Nasi tumeajua mapendo alionayo kwetu Mungu tukayahamini. Mungu ni upendo na mwenye kukaa katika upendo ukaa ndani ya Mungu na Mungu ukaa ndani yake. Neno la Bwana. Shangilio la injile. Kuchifunza kwangu asema Bwana kwa maana mimi ni mpole na mnyenyekefu wa moyo Takatifu ilivyo andi kwa na madayo Wakati hule Yesu alisema na kushukuru baba bwana wa mbingu na dunia kwa kuwa haya umeyaficha wenye hekima na busara ukawafunulia watoto wadogo ndivyo baba ilivyo kupendesa nimekapidhiwa yote na baba yangu hakuna amjuae mwana hila baba wala hakuna mjuae baba ila mwana na yeyote ambaye mwana apenda kumfunulia njoni kwangu ninyi nyote msumbukao na kulemewa na mzigo nami nitawapumsisha mtitukeni nira yangu na kuchifunza kwangu kwa maana mimi ni mpole na mnyenyekefu wa moyo nanyi Mtasipatia roho zenu raha kwani nira yangu ni laini na mzigo wangu ni mwepesi Injili ya Bwana Basi kwanza ni kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mbaye 
ametuwezesha sisi zote tufika hapa siku ya leo na kama vile tunaona kweli sherehe yetu ya leo ya family day ni tofauti kidogo na ile ya mwaka uliopita na mwaka ile ingine hii ni mara tatu sasa ambayo tunafanya sherehe ya family day kwa hiyo tunashukuru Mungu hasa kwa kuwepo kati yetu maaskofu kiongozwa na askofu mkuu kutoka jimbo la Kisumu yeye ndio anasimamia metropolitan yetu ya Kisumu na katika metropolitan yetu tuko na dauze za majimbo la Lodwa mbaye leo tuko na askofu wa Lodwa askofu John Mbinda alafu asko eh, jimbo la Kitale mnajua kwamba Kitale yule ambaye ni askofu ni wetu alikuwa padri wetu hapa Bishop Henry namuita ya father <laughs> asante sana askofu Henry kwa kuja kwa pamoja nasi alafu e, jimbo la Bungoma bae leo pia tuko na baraka kubwa sana kuwa na askofu wa Bungoma askofu Mark Kadima alafu kwa hiyo vika general wa Kakameka ako yu pamoja nasi um, tuoka hapo tunaenda moja kwa moja mpaka Oma Bay leo tuko na askofu wa Oma Bay eh, askofu Michael Odiwa eh, tulipokea pia apologies kutoka Kisi Dioses askofu Okemwa Mairura Joseph Alafu sasa tuko na askofu mkuu wa Kisumu ambaye anatuongoza e, katika misa hii askofu Morris Makumba Muhatia Bila kusahau kwamba sisi ni wenyeji Eldoret Kwa hiyo leo kweli ndio nasema kwamba E, ni baraka kubwa sana na tunaona sherehe yetu ni ya baraka kwa sababu ya kuwepo kwa maskofu wengi ambao wamekuja na pia nikitupa macho naona tuko na viongozi wetu e, tuko na His Excellency e, Governor Sang all the way from Nandi asante sana ni baraka kubwa na amekuja na deputy wake a uh, excellency yulita karibu sana sijui nani anawakilisha wasingishu i hope there's somebody uh, makofi kwa wale ambao wanawakilisha wasingishu na elgeo marakwet sijui nani ana anawakilisha nafikiria walienda upande wa kerio vale kwa hiyo tuna tunasema asante sana na nyinyi nyote watawa wetu naona kweli mumekuja kwa wingi sana kuna watawa ma sister na kuna mabruda ambao wako hapa na mapadri wetu sijawahi kuona mapadri wengi kama vile amekuja leo na pia ndio baraka ya maaskofu na sisi zote alafu nyinyi wa Kristo asante sana kwa kuja kwa wingi sana hii leo kweli ni family day na najua kwamba tumekuja kutoka kila sehemu kila parokia ya jimbo letu kwa hiyo nawapokea sana na kusema karibu sana 
hapa jimboni karibu tusherekee hii zawadi ya kuwa familia moja ya Mwenyezi Mungu hata wanakuwaya wamekuja kwa wingi sana na wamevaa wame, wame ile yellow ha? kwa hiyo tunasema asante sana thank you for coming PMC e, watoto wetu wote mashule zetu e, hata seminari ha, vijana walikuwa wanaimba saburi na wa seminarist wetu kutoka ma, is it Moas or Mouse Moas makofi kwao kwa hiyo tumekuja kusherekea baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu kwetu kama jimbo Mungu kweli ametubariki kwa njia mbalimbali ametubariki kwanza na imani kwa sababu ya hiyo imani ndio tumekuja hapa siku ya leo kama vile tuliambiwa katika somo la pili kwamba yule ambaye anakiri Yesu Kristo kuwa mwokozi ni mwana wa Mungu ni mtoto wa Mungu kwa hiyo tumekuja hapa kwa sababu zote tunaamini kwamba Yesu Kristo ni bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ni mwana wa Mungu alikuja ili atufanye sisi zote tuwe familia moja ya Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hiyo e, tuna tunashukuru Mungu kwa haya yote alafu pia wa Kristo tumepata baraka kwa njia mbalimbali hata tukiangalia tango tulipokuwa hapa family day mpaka family day ya sasa Mungu pia alitubariki kama jimbo akatubariki na mvua najua kwamba mwaka uliopita ilikuwa ni mwaka ngumu sana kuna sehemu nyingi ambazo hawakupata mvua hawakuwa na chakula walikuwa na shida mbalimbali lakini sisi tuko na sababu kubwa sana ya kumshukuru Mungu na kusema asante sana kwa sababu wewe umekuwa mkarimu kwetu kama jimbo na mnajua katika jimbo letu tuko na three counties Nandi, Wazingishu na Elgeyo Marakwet. Kwa hiyo tunashukuru Mungu kwa zawadi ya mvua na yale yote ambayo ametujalia. Wakristo tunajua kwamba tukiwa wakarimu vile tumekuwa wakarimu sana. Mungu anakuwa mkarimu zaidi. We can never outdo God in generosity. When we are generous, God will be even more generous and will bless us again and again and again. That's why we have come here as a diocese to say thank you Lord and to ask God to continue blessing us. Tunajua pia kwamba tulikuwa na hiyo safari ambayo eh, tulifanya zote kama jimbo safari ya sinodi yetu na tuliweza kuikamilisha hiyo safari na leo tutapata fursa pia ya kutangaza wale ambao watakuwa sasa wanatusaidia katika kazi ya uchungaji katika jimbo letu tutakuwa tumegawanya jimbo letu mara tatu e, ikifuata county zetu so we have pastoral region of nandi pastoral region of wasingisho and pastoral region of elgeo marakwet na leo sasa tutazindua wale ambao watakuwa e, wakitusaidia katika hizo e, county zetu ama pastoral e, regions na mambo mengi mengine ambayo pia tutaona siku ya leo e, kufuatana na yale yote ambayo tuliweza kufikia ama kufikiana kama jimbo na tukasema mwelekeo wetu kama jimbo ndio hii kwa hiyo pia tunashukuru Mungu kwa hiyo safari ambayo tulifanya safari ya sinodi e, yetu tukiwa wa Kristo wa Jimbo la Eldoret. Na pia tunaona mambo mengi sana ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu ametujalia. Kwa mfano nilipokuja 2020 tulikuwa na maparokia 66 Mungu ametubariki na sasa tunaongea juu ya maparokia 87. We have 87 uh, parishes katika jimbo letu. Kwa hiyo tunaona pia hiyo safari yetu ya imani 
imezaa matunda mema na naamini kwamba tukiendelea namna hiyo kweli imani yetu itaingia ndani ndani kabisa kila sehemu ili kusiwa na sehemu yoyote ambayo imeachwa nyuma kwa sababu tungependa tutembee sisi zote na baraka kubwa pia ni katika e, wito ama miito kwa sababu pia tunaona Mungu ametubariki na masisa wengi ametubariki na mapadri wengi ametubariki pia na waseminaristi ninapoongea sasa mwaka huu mkiomba sana tunatarajia kwamba we shall have 20 young men joining the priesthood in our diocese 20 na naomba sana askofu mkuu wetu eh, askofu Morris Muhati ambaye anasimamia eh, seminaries najua kwamba kuna ma, majimbo a lot of dioceses also having vocations na tunajua kwamba tumebarikiwa mpaka hatuna mali tunaweza ku, kuweka hao wote lakini kwa sababu wako hapa leo tunaomba asifungu aachilie wote waende eh? that, that 20 because we we need uh, we have three counties we need a lot of priests so that we may do the work of god uh, in a in a better way in a good way uh, so that we are able to continue with the work of evangelization na nikimalizia kwa sababu singependa nisemwe mambo mengi ni kwa shukuru sana wa Kristo wetu kwa ukarimu wenu tangu tulipoanza mambo ya family day e, 2021 e, tulikuwa na family day yetu na katika family day yetu tunafanya pia hiyo hiyo mchango wa kusaidia kazi ya jimbo na mnajua kwamba kuna mradi ambao tulianzisha pamoja hii ambayo tunaitwa St John Amani Center na tulipoanza we didn't have anything tulikuwa tuna imani tukijua kwamba Mungu wetu atatubariki na atatufungulia njia kwa hiyo mwaka wa 2021 we were able to raise eh, about i think it was 34 million ambayo ilituwezesha tufanye hiyo kazi love love mwaka uliopita 2022 we were able to raise 54 i think so naona from 34 to uh, 54 uh, it's about 20 million increase sasa mwaka huu sijui sasa itakuwa namna gani 2023 na kwa sababu tuko na baraka kubwa sana maaskofu wetu wamekuja kutuombea viongozi wetu wako pamoja nasi hapa na sisi wa Kristo tumejitokeza najua kwamba tutafikisha target yetu si ndio kwa hiyo ningependa kuwashukuru sana wa Kristo wa Jimbo la Eldoret wa Lei watawa mapadi wetu kwa sababu wamejitolea kikamilifu hata leo kwa mara ya kwanza mapadi wetu watakuja sasa kama mapadi hao watakuwa wanachificha eh, kupitia parokia watajitokeza watakuja mbele na ile kidogo ambao wame, wameweza pia kuchanga wataleta hapa leo ili sasa tuongeze e, pamoja na yale e, ile ambayo wakristo wetu wametuletea na hata kuna wakristo wa parokia mnajua tuko na parokia Nairobi hata mkono wao itafika hapa na wale wa diaspora ambao wako kila mahali Australia America Europe Tuta, tutapata pia mkono wao siku ya leo. Kwa hiyo mimi kama askofu ningependa kuwashukuru sana wa Kristo wetu. Asante kwa ukarimu wenu. Asante kwa kujitolea. Hiyo ndiyo njia yetu. Tutajenga kanisa letu kwa kujitolea. Ni sisi na nimekuwa nikisema hivi kwamba ni Mungu ametuweka sasa wakati huu. Kwa hiyo tufanyeye kazi. Tujitoe kikamilifu. Tutoe maisha yetu kama vile Kristo alivyotoa maisha yake kwa ajili yetu na yeye akatuachia hiyo kazi ya kuenda kuhubiri njili 
na kuhakikisha kwamba ufalme wake imejengwa kila mahali kwa hiyo tutuko na hiyo kazi na ni kazi ambayo wewe na mimi lazima tufanye pamoja kwa sababu umoja wetu ndio nguvu yetu na mwisho kabisa ningependa kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu mwaka uliopita tunajua kwamba hata tulipokutania hapa tulikuwa tunaomba sana juu ya amani katika nji yetu ya Kenya wakati huu mwaka uliopita ilikuwa ni wakati wa uchaguzi na wakati huo hatukujua mambo ingeenda namna gani lakini Mungu alitujalia e, tuwe alitujalia tuwe na uchaguzi wa amani kwa hiyo tunashukuru Mungu na mnajua kwamba sisi kama jimbo letu hapa Eldoret tumekuwa na shida nyingi sana wakati wa elections tumekuwa na shida mbalimbali mbali. watu walipoteza maisha yao mali zao na kila kitu kwa hiyo mwaka uliopita pia ilikuwa ni mwaka wa baraka kwetu na ndio tunasema asante kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hiyo amani ambayo tuko nayo ombi langu tu ni kuomba kule Kerio Valley tuweze kuwa na amani ya kudumu bado tuko na shida Kerio Valley na kama kanisa pia tarehe 28 mwezi huu kuna maaskofu kama wanane ambao watakuja hapa maaskofu ambao wako katika sehemu hii ambayo kuna shida maaskofu ya Lodwa Kitale sisi hapa Eldoret Nakuru Nyaururu na Maralal watakuja hapa ili pia kama kanisa kwa sababu tunaambiwa kwamba lazima lazima sisi tuchangie katika amani Yesu mwenyewe alisema blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called sons and daughters of God. Kwa hiyo tutakuwa na hiyo harakati ya kuhakikisha kwamba pia sisi tunajikaza tuhakikishe kwamba tuko na amani ya kudumu. Kwa hiyo tuombe hiyo eh, mkutano wa, wa maaskofu ili tuweze kuwa na amani ya kudumu. Tuombe imani yetu tukiwa jimbo na siku ya leo ikiwa ni sherehe yetu ya e, moyo mtakatifu wa Yesu tutafanya jambo ambalo bado hatujafanya tangu nikuje we are going to consecrate our dances to the sacred heart of Jesus today we want Jesus atuongoze na atujaze neema zote ambazo wako nazo kwa hiyo tutakuwa na hiyo sherehe kidogo tu so that we are consecrated to Christ na tutapata ngufu kwa sababu huyo Kristo ndio msimamizi wa jimbo letu. Kwa hiyo tuombe Kristo atubariki. Na Mama Maria atuombe sana. Leo pia tunakumbuka moyo tunaita nini? Moyo safi. The Immaculate Heart of our Mother Mary. So she is our mother. She will take care of us. She will protect us as a dowses. So let us be full of that courage to see your go be anything let us be full of courage and we move forward following the example of our lord jesus christ mungu awabariki Na sadiki kwa Mungu mmoja Baba Mwenyezi Mumba wa mbingu na dunia 
na vitu vyote vinavyoonekana na visivyoonekana na sadiki kwa bwana mmoja Yesu Kristo mwana pekee wa Mungu aliyezaliwa kwa baba tangu milele yote Mungu aliyetoka kwa Mungu mwanga kwa mwanga Mungu kweli kwa Mungu kweli aliyezaliwa bila kuumbwa mwenye Mungu mmoja na baba ambaye vitu vyote vimeumbwa naye alishua kutoka mbinguni kwa ajili yetu sisi wanadamu na kwa ajili ya wokovu wetu akapata mwili kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu kwake Bikira Maria akawa mwanadamu akasulubiwa kwa ajili yetu sisi kwa mamlaka ya Ponsio Pilato akateswa akafa na akazikwa siku ya tatu akafuka kadiri ya maandiko akapaa mbinguni ameketi kuume kwa baba atakuja tena kwa utukufu kwa hukumu wazima na wafu na ufalme wake utakuwa na mwisho na sadiki kwa roho mtakatifu bwana mleta uzima atokaye kwa baba na mwana anayeabudiwa na kutukuzwa pamoja na baba na mwana aliyenena kwa vinyo vimanadii na sadiki kwa kanisa moja takatifu katoliki la mitume na ungama ubatizo mmoja kwa maondoleo ya dhambi na ngojea na ufuko wa wafu na uzima wa milele ijayo amen ndugu zangu wapenzi Tuelekeze sala zetu kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi ambaye anataka watu wote waokoke na wafikie kuutambua ukweli. Basi tuombe inchi yetu na tunia kwa uchumu la amani. Tuombe Kenya, tuombe Kenya pale. Kwanda ili nyoki ili nye para kakiri mwen. Inye nyoki tapi mwen asine ito kwa mtangolio nde mu. Kulo tiyeriki yoko kristo kucho. Kusomi ni kone kalia. Ita kalia mwen togol kutere mboka maspa sutan. Ita kalia kwanda asine ito kutapo mwen yungo kalia. Saka tasta ingolio nde mwenye. Nyo uke somi ni kone kalya ngo kenyani. Je kalya piku kermi yenye. Ake somi ni rin ke lo kone kalya ngo komas pa kerye vale. Je kumangi shalako kungo kalya. Je kalya komas pa samburu. Je turkana akita pokot akita markweta. Je kumangi shapiku ngo kalya akita stay ngolyonde ngungo volta togol. Bwana utusikie. Sala kwa ajili ya kanisa. Mungu Mwenyezi kupitia kwa nao Yesu Kristu wewe ndiye mwanzilishi wa kanisa letu Katoliki la Mitume tunaliombea kanisa letu la kisinodi liweze kutembea kwa pamoja tunaweka mikononi mwako baba mtakatifu maaskofu mapadri watawa na walei ili kwa neema zako tuweze kushirikiana kwa umoja na upendo utokao kwa moyo mtakatifu wa Yesu Miminia baraka yako majibu yetu yote katika Metropolitan yetu ya Kisumu chini ya uongozi wa askofu mkuu Morris Muhatia. Bariki jibo letu lililowekwa wakfu kwa moyo mtakatifu wa Yesu ili kupitia kwa mchungaji wetu Mwashamu Dominic liweze kukua kiimani kuwa na umoja na imani thabiti na maendeleo. E Bwana twakuomba. Chapter 11 kwanda kamukta indet. Kisawajini kayani tukul. 
koboto kibaitinik alak che terter. Kisajini sugulishek chok tugul ak sipitalishek. Igochi ichek kimnatet akobo boisionik. Kiptayat kisamin igaswe sautik chok. Sala kwa familia. E mungu lie makimbilio na nguvu yetu. Na ziombea familia zote koto limuanguni. Wamiminye baraka, bariki maitaji na malengo ya, ya kila familia. E yesu, ulie msimamizi wa jimbo letu la edoresh. Tuwa kombo tujale imani, umoja na upendo. Fanikisha maitaji na malengo ya jimbo letu. Tuwa kushukuru kwa baraka tedo unazotu kirimia kila wakati. E mungu. Mwadha ni gai wito ni tuoka bere yaku. Tuwe na gado nyige mono nodo waki heo kia muoyo. Gai wito ni toko dhina bere uosho keri ya gado. Nodo waki heo kia adhe jiri aito odhe. Tukitogori ya ne modhi kafu wito Dominic. Na afea odhe. Na masista odhe. Na togolia ode ale amara togolia dhini wada usisi eno ya Eldoret. Gai wito tuwa yiku hoya uleke kumahe hinya. Umahe umaikoro kerie roho wa kumotheru marekie utogolia kanideno ito fafa mwega. Umahe wedo na weruteri wera ine wao. Umeherie duwarishio the shia mwere. Onashia meri moyo de gai na magerio mwode maole ya moru gai. Izuwe tuwe kirede gia ku tuwa kuhoya. Otuwa gerere we tekio moige. Nego to dhie na abere ukugosha. Fafo mwega netura hoya. No udo wawero lea we bere ito wago dhodeka. Nyobeno ito ya Amani Center. Gai wito radhima a kristo ode alia meru teire. Mehuko yao. Meshiri ya mao na mefago yao. Negotole kia mwadha ni kuhota na vini wa kudhodeka nyobeno ito gai. Tuwa ikuhoya, onadhikofu, aleode maumete vini wa matura maya maturigishairie. Mwadha ni mahehinya wa kuhota kutugata kule wa mwadha maratugata. Mwadha ni tuwa kuhoya oto igwe. For the needy, wale mnijo mochandre. Anya sae min giteko kwa dlo chuduto. Wakwae mwondo inye, miyo jogo mochandre. Chuny maler, dil konchang margi. Kendo imigi, mjigo mar tiyonigi. Otini, ji, otini nyasae iyo maler. Sae Sala nyonge za kanisa lako We ulia chanzo halisi cha utakatifu Ili tunacho kuomba kwa dhati tufanikiwe kukipata kweli kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu
sadaka yangu na yenu ikubalike kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Bwana pokea sadaka mikono mwako. Wasifa na tukufuata na yake. Naambia kwa mafanikio sisi na mafanikio. E Bwana tunakuomba utazame upenda usiwe na kifani wa mwanao mpenzi. Ili sadaka tunayokutolea ikupendeze. Na kuwa kwetu fidia ya dhambi zetu kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Bwana awe nanyi. Awe roho ni mwako. Eno weni mioyo. Shukuru bwana Mungu wetu Kweli ni vema na Tendo la kufana la kuleta wokovu 
Toko shokoro wewe daima na popote E bwana baba ule ya mtakatifu Mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu Yeye alinuliwa msalabani Akajitoa mwenyewe kwa upendo wa ajabu kwa ajili yetu alichomwa ubavu akamwaga damu na maji zipate kububujika kutoka humu sakramenti za kanisa ile wote wavutwe na uo moyo wazi wa mokozi na kuchota siku zote kwa furaha neema katika chemchemi hiyo ya wokovu kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na watakatifu na malaika wote tunakotokoza tukesema bila mwisho takatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumbwa nawe kinakusifu kwa haki maana kwa njia mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo tendaji wa roho mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifuza wala uwachi kukusanya watu kwako ili toka mawe ya jua hata machweo yake dhabihu usafi itolewe kwa jina lako basi ey bwana tunakusii kwa unyenyekevu vipaji hivi ambavyo tunakutolea ili uvitakase upende kuvitakatifuza kwa roho huyo huyo ili viwe mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristu aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya maana yeye mwenyewe usiku ule alipotolewa alitua mkate na akikushukuru aliubariki akaumega na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema toeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitoa kikombe na kushukuru alikibariki na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Tueni mnywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya na la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi 
fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu Ilene fumbo la imani Kristo alikufa Kristo alikufa Kristo atakuja tena Kwa hiyo ey Bwana na kuadhimisha ukumbusho wa mateso ya mwanao yaletaye wakovu pamoja na ufuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwa kwake mbinguni tunapotazamia ujio wake wa pili na kutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uyaangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kukumtambua yeye aliye kafara ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake utujelee sisi tunaotiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujaza roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristo Yeye atufanye sisi tuwe kwako sadaka timilifu ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako kwanza kabisa pamoja na bikira Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mume wake huyo bikira na mitume wako wenye heri na mashahidi wako watukufu na watakatifu wote ambao tunategemea kupata daima msaada wa maombezi yao mbele zako Tunakuomba e Bwana huyu aliyekafara na upatanisho wetu alete amani na uokovu duniani kote. Upende kuliimarisha katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako linalosafiri hapa duniani. Pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na askofu wetu Dominic pamoja na maaskofu wote Wakileru wote na watu wote unaofanya kuwa taifa lako. Usikilize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii ulioiita hapa mbele yako. E baba ulie mtakatifu kwa huruma yako uwakusanye kwa kwa wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani uwapokee katika uwapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote walioaga dunia wakiwa wamekupendeza nasi tunatumaini kufika katika ufalme huo ili pamoja tushibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu ambaye kwa njia yake unaujalia ulimwengu mema yote kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele Kwa kuletea agizo la mwokozi wetu 
na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunathubutu kusema baba yetu uliye mbinguni E Bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote. Utujalie kuema mani maisha ni mwetu. Kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako, tuopolewe daima na dhambi wala tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote. Napotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio wa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo. E Bwana Yesu Kristo liawaambia mitume wako Amani na waachieni amani yangu na wapa usitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijelea amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unaeishi na kutawala milele na milele Amen. amani ya bwana iwe daima nanyi peane amani tazama mwana kondoa Mungu tazama aondoaye dhambi za ulimwengu heri yao waliyalikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo e bwana istahili uingie kwangu lakini sema neno tu na roho yangu itapona ili na damu ya Kristo tuliende tupate uzima wa milele
Bwana sakramenti ya mapendo ituwashia upendo mtakatifu ambao kwa kuvutiwa daima na mwanao kutufundisha kumtambua yeye katika ndugu zetu anaishi na kutawala daima na milele Dedication of the Diocese of Lodwa, I mean of Eldoret, to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. 
Most sacred heart of Jesus, pour down your blessings abundantly on your holy Catholic Church, on the supreme pontiff, the clergy, religious men and women, and all the faithful. O oh, adorable heart of Jesus, the tenderness, the most amiable, the most generous of all hearts. We hereby consecrate our diocese of Eldoret wholly and unreservedly to you. We wish to devote all our energies to propagating your word and sacraments. Most holy redeemer of the human race, look down upon us as we humbly kneel before this altar. We pray to maintain our unity of purpose as the diocese of Eldoret, as each one of us freely consecrates himself as self to your most sacred heart. Be the king of those who are deceived by erroneous opinions or whom discord keeps aloof and call them back to the truth and unity of faith so that they may be one flock and one shepherd. You who lives with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>
kuhamisha fichwa niende ni kwa mani tumshukuru basi tutaketi labda pengine wanashangaa baraka tulipata baraka kwa ikaristi takatifu Asante sana wakati wa benediction tulipata baraka. Asante kwa wakati huu basi nitamkaribisha padri mkuu wa jimbo letu padri William ili aweze kutuelekeza kutoka hapo. Wapo tuna nafasi ya kutulia tuweze kutulia tuweze kuendelea na kipindi cha tatu. Askofu mkuu wa jimbo kuu la Kisumu ambaye ametuongoza katika ibada hii takatifu askofu wetu askofu Dominic maskofu mapadri watawa na wakristo pamoja na viongozi tumsifu Yesu Kristo Ilele, amena. mwaka wa na ishirini baada ya baba askofu wetu kukua askofu wetu katika jimbo hili alitushirikisha katika safari ya kisinodi sisi sote tukapewa nafasi ya kushiriki katika hali ya sala katika hali ya kutafakari na katika hali ya kuchangia kwa njia mbalimbali kwa ajili ya jimbo hili mwaka uliopita tukapata nafasi ya kusherekea zawadi ya sinodi ya jimbo hili tukiongozwa na baba askofu na wakati tuliposherekea sherehe ya karamu ama holy thursday mwaka huu baba askofu aliweza kuzindua kirasmi sinodi ya jimbo hili na akatuambia kwamba tuendelee kuomba sasa tuweze kusherekea matunda ya sinodi na akasema kwamba leo hii tunaposherekea sherehe ya kifamilia tutaanza rasmi kuyaona na kufurahia matunda ya sinodi hivyo basi ningependa kwa unyenyekevu nichukue nafasi hii ni mwalike baba askofu aweze kutuongoza zaidi na kutuelekeza zaidi jinsi tunavyostahili kusherekea matunda haya baba askofu karibu kama vile nilivyo aidi kwamba sasa leo tutawajulisha wale ambao watakuwa wakinisaidia katika kazi ya uchungaji wa jimbo letu la Eldoret na nitaanza kwanza na wale ambao watakuwa wanasaidia kazi katika sekretariat yetu ama kuria so yule ambaye atakuwa chancellor na pia moderator wa sekretariat wetu ni reverend father Vincent Kitur Love you lady uh, by the vocations director ni reverend father Krikori Kimeli na naomba wote wakuja hapa mbele wakuja hapa mbele tuwajue 
Alafu director wa communications atakuwa Reverend Father Francis Kamau Wainaina Alafu wale ambao ni vikas kuna vika wa religion ama relig the religious Eh, Reverend Father Francis Moriasi ataendelea na vika wa klaji mbaya atakuwa na shukulikia mambo ya mapadri ne Reverend Father Michael Rob That one was there. <laughs> I love Sasa to uh, to tend uh, Kule Pastoral Regions. Our Wakuna Cheo Mbaja Kinaitua Episcopal Vika. Umesikia wa ni vika for religious, vika for, for clergy. Sasa wa ni Episcopal Vika. Na Episcopal Vika, hako na mamlaka kama Vika General, lakini kwa sehemu ambaya mepewa. Si kila mahali. <laughs> All right, so Nitanza na Vika General, eh, Father William Crossgay, but at Endelea. <laughs> Alafu, Episcopal Vika, wa pastoral region, Wanandi, ni Reverend Father Jabeth Machichem. Episcopal Vicar wa Wasingishu. Reverend Father Stephen Njure. Na Vicar wa Elgeo Marakwet. Ni Reverend Father David Mutai Ruto. Pia tulisema kwamba tutakuwa na education secretaries full time mba watakuwa nafanya kazi katika pastoral region. So yula mbae atakuwa nafanya kazi e, kama coordinator wa education katika pastoral region wanandi ni Father Joseph K. Limo. Na yule ambaye atakuwa nafanya kazi kama education coordinator kule Elgeo Marakwet ni Father Edwin Kangogo. Na yule ambaye atafanya kazi kama education coordinator wa Wasingishu ni Father Rafael Opondo ataendelea kufanya kazi. Na pia kwa sababu ya experience yake at, ataendelea ku coordinate au wengine akiwa the overall Diocesan Education Secretary. Alafu yule ambaye atakuwa anasimamia mambo ya liturgy the liturgy coordinator I'm the Dawson liturgist and the father so Peter Kangogo basi and your mapadi 
Ninaweza kusema ni cabinet yangu ambayo tutafanya kazi pamoja nao e, for the next five years for the next five years so makofi kwao tena alafu sasa wakiwa wamesimama hapo nitaomba pastoral coordinator wetu by father Samuel Kigen aite ama awaite wale ambao ni lay leaders wakuja hapa alafu tuwabariki wote basi kuna wale wengine ambao siku wataja kwa mfano e, nimetaja sasa the pastoral coordinator bado ni father Samuel Kigen e, Dawson finance administrator bado ni father Mwanda naendelea na hiyo kazi alafu yule wa integral human development bado ni padre Silvano e, wasonga so wanaweza kuja tu wapate baraka hii Sasa so, mkuu wa jimbo la Kisumu. Eh. Pole nili ni vizuri pia nitaje kwamba tuko na wakristo wetu ambao wako kule Nairobi na wale ambao wako diaspora nje eh, nje ya nje na tume chagua mapadri ambao atakuwa anasaidia hawa kama coordinators basi kule Nairobi coordinator wa Nairobi Metropolitan Christians from Eldoret ni Father Henry Simaru Father Simaru karibu sana na watasaidiana na very reverend father John Kiblima Lele ambaye ni rector kule St Thomas Aquinas Seminary lakini ni kuni wetu anatoka hapa Eldoret so hata naye pia ajongee mbele apate baraka um, basi ili tusi na wanelea wamekuwa wengi tutaomba askofu mkuu Yes, wabariki hawa alafu the lay leaders wakuje. So you face this direction. Tuombe. E Mungu baba mwenyezi. Uliye mgawaji wa mamlaka kwa ajili ya ukombozi na utukufu wa jina lako. Naomba uonyeshe mkono wako ah walioteuliwa kwa ajili ya uenezaji wa injili katika jimbo la Eldoret. Uwajalie hekima. Uwajalie moyo wa undugu. Waongezee imani ili katika kutekeleza kazi waliopewa jina lako litukuzwe. Nyweza wa Kristo zifurahishwe injili iendeshwe katika jimbo zima tunaomba e bwana uwakinge na uovu wote wa mwili au wa roho ili katika kutumikia na kuhudumia watu wako furaha yao iwe furaha ya watu wao na furaha ya watu wa jimbo iwe pia furaha yao wakifanya kazi katika umoja pamoja na askofu wao kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki kwa jina la Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Endeni fanya kazi
So as Kofu Mku Wachimbo Ku Lakisumu, as Kofu Morris Mwatia, as Kofu Wedu Dominic Mengich, as Kofu Mapadri Waku, Mapadri Watawa na Wakristu. Tuchumuike pamoja, ili tuwese kwa shukuru fiongozi wetu, wale walifanya kasi, toka 2021, mbaka 2023. Na nawaita wachonge mbele. Kwa kasi, kwa muda mfupi walioifanya na walifanya vema katika dao session lay pastor kanso tulikuwa tunaongozwa na dr peter koske akiwa chairman kwa hivyo achongee mbele ili apatiwe cheti ya shukrani kwa kasi aliyoifanya na mwalika baba skofu alafu martha jepkoech alikuwa secretary Miriam Windy alikuwa treasurer tuchongee mbele tafadhali Alafu Catholic Men Association Paul Kichwen alikuwa chairman John Burgay alikuwa secretary Sylvester Singoe alikuwa treasurer tuchongee ni mbele mpate cheti Catholic Women Association Margaret Kamau chair lady na Beretta Sindavi secretary na Pauline Kipkeo treasurer asante sana kwa kasi mlioifanya Catholic Lay Movement Felix Kruy Consolata Ojune secretary na Sami Koske treasurer Tuchongee mbele tabadhali haraka kwa sababu muda uh, Awandio CWA Choir leaders Cosmas Mute, Mutai akiwa chairperson, Catherine Posibori akiwa secretary, Stella Chepkemoi akiwa treasurer. Tuchongee mbele. Tuchongee mbele. Santeni kwa kasi. Alafu tulifanya tulifanya uchakusi kutoka Jumuiya hadi Jimbo na hawa ndio walichakuliwa na Wakristo. Katika Diocesan Pastoral Council sasa China imebadilika sio chama tena inaitwa moderator. Moderator wetu ata kuwa Patrick Joseph Kitur kutoka Chepteri Dinari. Alafu vice moderator ni Julius Ngarngar kutoka Seminary, secretary ni Joan Kimutai kutoka Iten, vice secretary ni Hilda Bet kutoka Cathedral, treasurer ni Sharon Keblagat kutoka Cathedral. Kwa hivyo chongeeni mbele, tafadhali. Alafu chairman wote wa every dinner in Dokamati ama committee members. CMA leaders 2023 2026 chairman anabaki kuwa Paul Kichwen kutoka Kaiboy Dinari. vice chairman Melilei Silvano kutoka seminary secretary Christopher Kemei kutoka Majengo vice secretary Richard Sirma kutoka seminary Treasurer ni Edwin Komen kutoka Nerkwa Organizing Secretary ni Dr. Paul Okello kutoka Cathedral chongeni mbele Chairman wa kila dinari watakuwa kamati ama committee members CWA leaders 2023 2026 Chair lady atakuwa Dina Tangul kutoka Cathedral Vice Chair Lady ni Caroline Kogo kutoka Seminary, Secretary ni Maculate Piwot kutoka Kaiboy, Vice Secretary ni Caroline Bungei kutoka Iten, Dinari, Treasurer ni Pauline Kipkeo kutoka Jesongoj, 
mwenye atasimamia miradi ya CWA ni Margaret Kamau kutoka majengo Alafu tunaenda lay movements chairperson ni David Koske kutoka Divine Mercy secretary ni Consolata Ojune kutoka Marian Movement alafu treasurer ni John Ngugi kutoka Pioneer Alafu kwaya chairperson ni Cosmas Mutai kutoka Cathedral vice chairperson Willy Mayo kutoka Nandi Hills Denari secretary ni Mary Likidam kutoka Majengo vice secretary ni Karen Chepchirchir kutoka Chepterit alafu directors director ni Evans Kibet kutoka Seminary director 1 Tom C Cathedral director 2 Solomon Koske kutoka Kobujoy treasurer atakuwa Noela Jeruto kutoka Iten Denari So na mwalika askofu mkuu wa bisha wa Kiapo alafu baada ya hiyo watatoa hadi kama viongozi alafu baada ya hiyo watabarikiwa na kuombewa na baba askofu asante Kiapo cha viongozi wa kanisa Naomba wasaidie kuwasha mshumaa tafadhali. Je. Mko tayari kukubali mbele ya Mungu na mbele ya kanisa lake kuwa viongozi wa kundi la jamii ya Mungu? kusimamia imani ya kanisa katoliki na kuonyesha mwenendo mwema mbele za Mungu na kanisa lake. Niko tayari. Mko tayari kuwahimiza wa Kristo kuishi na kuzingatia kikamilifu maisha ya sakramenti. Niko tayari. Mko tayari kumpokea Roho Mtakatifu ambaye ni mwalimu na kiongozi mkuu wa kanisa na kutii sauti yake. Mko tayari kuisaidia na kuliendeleza kanisa kwa kila namna iwezekanavyo. Niko tayari. Mko tayari kufanya kazi na Wakristo bila ubaguzi wowote kushirikiana na maaskofu na mapadri. Niko tayari. Mko tayari kuwasamehe Wakristo wanapowakosea na kuwapenda kama Kristo aliwalipenda kanisa. Niko tayari. Je Mko tayari kuunganisha vikundi vyote vya kanisa ili kuwe na ushirikiano kama wa Mungu Baba, Mungu Mwana na Mungu Roho Mtakatifu? Niko tayari. Sasa ni ahadi ya viongozi wa kanisa kila mmoja kwanza anataja jina lake alafu muendelee pamoja mimi Paul Kimayo Gitwen Stefano Melilei Christopher Kemei Edwin Kipkoskei Komen Paul Okello 
Dina Tangui, Caroline Kogo, Pauline Kipkeu, Margaret Kamau, David Marie Koskei, Mimi Richard Sirma, Immaculate Piwat, John Gugi, Noela Geruto, Tom C. Oyengo, Mimi Evans Kibet, Karen Chepchirchir, Mary Likidan, Willie Cheruyot Mayo, Cosmas Mutai, Caroline Bungay, Water. Viongozi wapendwa pokeeni mwanga wa Kristo mmepewa mwanga huu mpate kuulinda Kristo waangazie ili wa Kristo mnaoongoza waige mfano wenu mwema mwe tayari kujitolea na kujinyima kwa ajili ya kanisa mdumu daima katika mafundisho na maagizo ya mitume wa Mungu ndio maaskofu na mapadri Mtembee daima kama watoto wa nuru. Injili iwape nguvu. Mudumu katika imani ili baada ya maisha haya sisi pamoja na watakatifu wote tuwe tuweze kumlaki Bwana huko mbinguni. Nje ya Kristu Bwana wetu. tuombe E Mungu mwenyezi ndiwe uliyewateua wa Kristo hawa katika hali zao ili wawe viongozi katika kanisa lako na kusii basi e Bwana uwatie roho mtakatifu mfariji Uwape roho wa imani na hekima roho wa shauri na nguvu roho wa elimu na ibada uwajaze roho wa uchaji wako ili waweze kutumikia vema wajalie wawe hodari na wenye bidii ya kusali wawe chombo cha mapendo upatanishi matumaini na furaha yako Naye Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki kwa jina la Baba 
na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu basi sasa wanapongezwa na askofu mkuu wanatakiwa kila laheri kwa kazi hiyo ambayo wamepokea pia askofu wetu atawakaribisha katika ofisi na kuwaomba waweze kulisimamia kundi la Wakristo jinsi atakavyo Kristo basi viongozi fomu hiyo mlio nayo mtaweka sahihi kisha murudishe kwenye ofisi ya pastor mkirudi pale mketi mtatia sahihi alama kwamba mumekubali majukumu na wajibu huo mliopewa si mnaporudi kuketi wanakwaya naomba tuimbe wimbo nimeahidi Yesu na hiyo mshumaa mlio nayo mtaenda naye nyumbani haya muende pole pole haya wanakwaya pole pole kwa ustarabu utumishi kanisani na mshumaa nimeruhusu mtaenda naye nyumbani form tu ndio mtawacha baada ya kutia sahihi wanakwaya kutambua wageni wote waliopo hapa na aweze kutuelekeza. Basi askofu mkuu, baba askofu na maaskofu naomba nichukue nafasi hii ili niweze kuwatambua nyote ambao tumeheshimu na tumefika hapa kusherekea sherehe hii ya kifamilia. Kwa njia ya kipekee tunatambua mapadri wote ambao wamefika hapa naomba musimame muwapungie mapadri wote asante sana muwapungie asante sana hawa ni mapadri wazalendo wa hapa na mapadri wa missionary pia niweze kutambua watawa wa kiume the religious brothers wenye wako hapa tuko na mashirika mane katika jimbo letu wako pale tuwapungie asante sana tuweze kutambua pia watawa wa kike wa mashirika mbalimbali mbali katika jimbo letu 
all the religious sisters kindly arise ili tuweze kuwapungia Asante sana pia leo hii tuko na viongozi viongozi ambao wamekuja kusherekea pamoja nasi tuko na governor wanandi tuko pia na mwakilishi wa governor wa wasingishu mwakilishi pia wa senator ya wasingishu tuko na deputy governor nandi na viongozi wengine naomba viongozi ambao mheshimu siku hii naomba tu musimame tuwapungie asante sana asanteni sana kwa kufika asante sana na niweze pia kutambua mashule au institutions tuko na ma institutions katika jimbo letu tukianzia na chuo kikuu cha kikatoliki gaba campus our colleges our high schools primary schools and all the other colleges mali mulipo all our students naomba musimame asante sana tuwapungie basi naomba tuwapungie wakristu kutoka dinner ya cathedral tuwapikie makofi wakristu kutoka dinner ya majengo makofi dinner ya seminary makofi dinner ya chesongoch makofi dinner ya nerkwa makofi dinner ya iten makofi chapteri makofi kaiboy makofi nandi hills makofi kopujoy makofi and all our chaplaincies makofi ningependa tu kuchukua nafasi hii niwalike wachache waweze kutoa matangazo passing the relevant messages nitaanzia na director caritas bang naomba ufike hapa mbele utoe tangazo siku yako wapi anaye fuata ni father kimani aweze kutuambia ama atangaze juu ya uh, bishops dinner naomba apewe pale sande sana nikutoa tu tangazo tangazo kwa sababu tunajua tungali tuko na kazi tunsifie Yesu Kristo daima na milele mimi hapa naakilisha Caritas Microfinance Bank ni moja wapo wale partners wa Dasis ya Loret na tungependa kuwashukuru kwa ile kazi umefanya tungependa kuwashukuru kufika hapa na pia tuko pamoja askofu Dominic katika ujenzi tutasaidiana na sisi kama Caritas Microfinance Bank we hope to become the anchor tenants wa hiyo 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 nyumba ambayo mnajenga kwa hivyo tuko pamoja na tutasaidiana kwa hiyo kazi As. tusifi na kwa hivyo pia nyote mnaalikwa parishes all uh, other institutions we offer all banking services as a catholic institution so kindly let us come together to work together tumsifi yesu kristu asante makofi okay makofi tena kwake makofi asante sana ni mwalike padre james kimani aweze kutoa tangazo na naye fuata ni father joram nganga aweze pia kutoa tangazo kuna miradi mingi sana ambayo uh, baba askofu anafanya na miradi mingine haipo supported na sherehe kama hii kwa mfano eh, mapadri ma kusoma kusupport kujenzi wa makanisa na kadhalika kwa hivyo ofisi yangu ya resource mobilization inasaidia askofu katika kufanya hayo um, kwa jumla tunaweza kusema tangu nikuwe kwa ofisi ofisi imeweza kupata zaidi ya shilingi milioni 
mbili kwa sababu ya jimbo hili kupitia kwa askofu na kutoka kwa wafadhili wetu kokote dunia, kote duniani. Kwa hivyo sisi tumejikuja hapa pamoja kutukila kila tumeamua kwamba kila mwaka tutakuwa na ile tunaita bishops dinner na katika bishops dinner askofu atakuwa na chagua mradi ambaye anapenda uchangiwe tulianza mwaka jana na mradi ambaye askofu alitaka uchangiwe ilikuwa ni hospitali yetu ya St Brigitas na ninashukuru kwa sababu ilikuwa ni mchango wa kwanza na kupitia kwa usaidizi wa Wakristo tuliweza kusanya shilingi milioni nane na laki sita 8.6 million kusaidia hospitali yetu mwaka huu pia tumeonelea kama kamati ya kwamba tutaendelea pia kusaidia hiyo hospitali na naomba wana kamati wa bishops dinner wakuje hapa hawataongea tutawajua tu alafu tuwalike nyote katika dina hii wanakamati wote ambao wanahusika na bishops dinner na waomba wajongee hapa basi hawa ambao wanakuja ndio ambao wanasaidia katika kupanga eh, bishops dinner kila mwaka eh, sitawaruhusu waongee kwa sababu ya muda lakini mnawaona mkitaka mnaweza wauliza maswali kwa hivyo mwaka huu tunataka ku, kuendelea kuchangia hospitali ya St Brigitas na tuna target yetu ya 15 million shillings na tunaamini ya kwamba tutapata e, tayari ile 8.6 million ambayo tulichangisha tumeweza kuequip hospitali yetu theater iko ready hata tumekuwa na surgery tarehe na moja mwezi wa tano lab iko ready na tunatumaini ya kwamba tutaendeleza hospitali hii. Kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya askofu na kamati hii ningependa kuwalika wakristu wote washiriki katika bishops dinner ambayo tutaifanya mwezi wa mbili tarehe moja Disemba na itafanyika kule St Brigitas Hospital. Tunaomba ya kwamba wakati mtatangaziwa muje tusaidiane kujenga hiyo hospitali na Mungu awabariki kwa ukarimu wenu asante, asante sana tuwapikie makofi na tuwapungie asante sana father james ni mwalike pia father joram nganga aweze pia kwa huo mkondo kutoa tangazo na wanapojianda kamati ya jengo hili la mtakatifu Yohane Mbatizaji muweze mjongee pia ili tuweze kukamilisha sehemu ya matangazo Tumsifu Yesu Kristo Do you people remember the encounter between Jesus and the Samaritan woman at Jacob's well Jesus told her that he is the water of life. Do you people keep searching for the water of life? Are we seeking Jesus for this water of life? All right then, as we seek Jesus in our daily activities, we may be thirsty, tired and worn out. The Catholic Diocese of Eldoret is offering you the Samaritan well drinking water that will always remind you and me that Jesus is the water of life. Drink the Samaritan well water. Mtafteni Yesu maji ya uzima. Here comes the bottle Samaritan well water by the Catholic Diocese of Eldoret. Askofu Mapadri watawa na wakristu tujibambe Asante sana sasa maji haya ya uzima ya Samaritan askofu aliweza kubariki huo mradi basi unapokunywa maji haya unapara, unapata baraka tele tele baraka tele tele maji haya yanaongeza afya na kadhalika 
ninasema maneno haya kwa niaba ya Fadha Joram Nganga. Asante sana. Kwa mara nyingine tuwapikie makofi. Basi kukabilisha sehemu hii niweze kualika sasa technical team kamati ili kwa ufupi mfahamu la zenu ambazo mlizitoa kwa ajili ya ujenzi umefanya ama imefanya kazi gani kwa haraka technical team kwa haraka kwa huo mkondo na baada ya hiyo tutaweza kutambua viongozi wa civil authorities wenye wako pamoja nasi karibu Bishop Morris Bishop Kimengit Kindly allow me to introduce to you the technical team including the contractor They are here before you This team was mandated Meanwhile the seminarians uh, when you work on a banner kindly move forward this team bishop you selected with one mandate to advise you on amani st john amani center and so far they have delivered the project up to where it is at the moment and they are willing and they are ready to continue up to the end up to the completion of the project basi hatutaongea akamati hii kuna mapade ndani kuna engineers ndani basi nitapea tu chair wa technical committee to take us through the project up to where it is now engineer maritime most welcome asante Archbishop wetu, Bishop wetu wa Eldoret, Governor wetu wa Nandi, Representative of uh, Governor Wasingishu, Representative of uh, Senator um, Wasingishu County, all protocol observed. Kwa majina naitwa Engineer Nelson Maritim, mimi ni chairman wa Technical Committee ya St. John's Amani Center. Uh, ilo chengo Unaweza ona file iko hapo eh, tulifanya ground breaking tarehe 21 moja, December 2021 some days before Christmas that is 2021 the actual work ilianza tarehe 16 May 2022 so we are one here and one month so mahali tumefika eh, kwa physical development tuko 30% tuko fourth floor by the end of the year we are hoping and trusting god that we shall be at the eighth floor and we shall be ready now to start finishing uh, the financial part of it currently we are also at 30% physical and monetary are going on in on so we want to thank god because at least we have been able to be facilitated to reach where we are on quality control i want to assure our bishops and the leaders here that we are ensuring that the quality control of st john's amani center is well taken care of one we are taking care of the strength of the steel secondly we are ensuring that the concrete that we are using is actually meeting the required standard thirdly we are also training 15 interns we say this is a big project we are training 15 uh, interns and these interns are from various universities they are 15 in number and currently they are with us on average uh, bishop we have 54 workers at the site on average the other thing uh, your lordship uh, bishop we don't do a money center alone all of us we are aware that 
This land where we are, where we have our church, only had allotment letter. And the other side had a title. But you know, when you are within the municipality, we always have leases. So we want to thank God that the governor, Mandago, previously, and now the current governor has really, uh, of Wasingishu, has really assisted us through the Department of Lands, and we have the title of the whole of this area where we are. I want to really appreciate Professor Mulongo. I want to request Professor to wave. <laughs> Professor is the one who has really steer-headed this process of ensuring that we get uh, the title. As we speak now, we feel at home. This is our land, the headquarters of uh, Catholic Diocese of Eldoret. It will not be good if I don't give Professor to say something. Karibu, Professor. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. I know last year we were seated on an allotment letter, but this year we are happy we are celebrating on a, a parcel that has a lease. We all appreciate all those who participated and played a major role to help us reach where we are. Asante Nisana. So thank you very much. I'll call upon uh, Father Mwanda. Sorry, sorry, I've been advised uh, contractor to say something about the building, Karibu and Dorosta. Daimana Milere. Kwa majina Daniel Okwara, ni contractor ambayo tunajenga jumba hilo kushirikiana na kamati iliyo hapa na pia na baba Skofu. E, jumba lenyewe vile maambiwa nimefika 30% na tunajenga kwa ustadi ambao unastahilika. Una Tume hatujawahi kupata shida ya kupata material, tunapata material kwa muda ambao tunahitaji na E, vijana wale wanajifunza kazi pale wanajifunza kazi ili siku zijazo nao wachukue kutoka kwa sisi kwa hivyo mimi nashukuru wa Kristo wote wale wanachangia kazi hiyo ya Mungu e, nikisema ya kwamba muendelee kuchangia ili tumalize jengo hilo kwa muda ambao unastahili una kwa hivyo nawashukuru sana na nashukuru bishop wetu pia na wenzake asanteni Kwa wale wenye waliona contractor wetu last year alikuwa ameneneba kidogo lakini nimekasa ye bilivyo ili kazi iendelee na tunasema asante eh, nadhani kukaribisha father Mwanda huyo father ndio anasimamia eh, pesa karibu father asante tumsifu Yesu Kristo amen e, e, katika ujenzi Kwa miaka miwili mwaka wa 2021 e, tulipoanza mradi huo wakati wa family day yetu ya kwanza tulichanga milioni 31,360,000 hiyo nilikuwa target yetu lakini tukapata milioni 33,777,000 mwaka uliofuata wa mwaka 2022 tukawa na target ya milioni 65,280,000 tukachanga milioni 56,624,559,559 na basi katika matumizi kwa mwaka wa kwanza E, CMA katika mchango wa simiti na chuma e, CMA walitupa 1077 na CWA katika mchango wa simiti wakatupa 1345 165 uh, tuwapige makofi CWA CMA bado kwa mfukoni wakitoa tutapiga makofi e, tukauza tenda e, ya 1150 Sita, miatano e, na wengine marafiki wetu wakatupa 69000 e, na shilingi 800. Kwa hivyo kwa miaka 
hiyo miwili na pamoja na matirio yote sasa tukapata milioni mia, milioni tatu elfu mia moja arobaina tatu mia ine, arobaina tano kwa jumla mwaka wa elfu mbili ishirina moja elfu mbili ishirina mbili tulichanga pesa milioni tisini na nne elfu mia moja arobaina tisa na e, mia mbili aru, e, thamanini na tano tuchipigie makofi na basi pesa hizo zilitumika mpaka mwaka uliofuata ambapo tukapitisha na shilingi 68785 kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana e, ya leo tutawatangazia e, baadaye asante sana father e, ilo chengo hatuna deni mkiona hivyo hakuna deni where we are hakuna deni na tunasema mtusaidie ili tusikuwe na deni mimi nitachapwa kipoko kama chairman unajua uwezi kuwa chairman bila members so i will request my members to introduce themselves as we proceed to sit thank you very much and god bless you mimi father mwanda father timothy father peter pinto engineer cosmas mbaya Professor Leonard Mlongo Plana Daniel Okwara contractor Julia Birir Anthony Murage contractor Asanteni tumsifu Yesu Kristo Asante sana tuwapikie makofi ya kilo moja Funga Fungua Basi nichukue nafasi hii kwa haraka kabisa ni mwalike mheshimiwa CTN ambaye anaakilisha governor uh, wa Singishu ili aweze kutambulisha wale wageni wengine alafu mmoja wao aweze kutoa solidarity message leo hii kwa baba askofu na katika jimbo hili kwa haraka naomba kabisa Tumsifu Yesu Kristu daima na milele Uh, naitwa Sitien Anthony mimi naakilisha His Excellency the Governor wa Singishu Jonathan Chelili Mpi na amekuwa na shukuri ambazo asingeweza kumwezesha kuwa hapa kwa hivyo nimekucha hapa kwa niaba yake uh, Papa Askofu wa Chimbo la Kisumu na Papa Askofu wa Chimbo la Eldoret mapatri na wa Kristo wa Pensi nachukua nafasi hii kwa niapa ya kavana kukaribisha nyinyi wote katika sehemu hii katika siku hii ya leo ya muhimu sana ya familia day ambapo sisi wote kama binadamu tunasherekea tukitarajia kwamba tuwe na familia ambazo nitapiti asandeni sana mniruhusu ni karibishe wa Keni ambao wamejiunga nasi Tuko na His Excellency the Governor wa Nandi tumpikie makofi tuko na wakilishi wa Seneta na Women Rep kutoka sehemu hii kwa hivyo kwa sababu ya muda mnruhusu ni wakaripisha hapa wachitambulishe na ntaruzu uh, mkeni wetu His Excellency the Governor aseme machache karibuni sana karibuni hapa mchiongee mbele Nafikiri sisi wakati wa sehemu hii diocese yetu ya Eloret ni watu wa changamfu sana tutawapikia makofi kwa sababu wameitikia mwito wetu mimi natoka uh, Queen of Peace Osorongai Barokia kituo cha St. Jude St. Jude karibuni Tuanze na mwakilishi wa seneta ambaye atasema majina yake kisha baadaye mtaniruhusu excellence governor atamalizia China tu Tumsifu Yesu Kristo na daima na milele itifaki zote zikiangaziwa mniruhusu hivyo 
na kwa heshima kuu ya Archbishop na Bishop wetu kwa majina naitwa Dr. Emily Kogos tumekuja hapa na mwenzangu atajeleza ku represent honorable senator na amewatumia habari ya heri njema na zawadi pia asanteni Tumsifu Yesu Kristo uh, ak bishop wetu bishop wetu uh, Dominic Kimengich na bishop wote ambao wako hapa mapadri mimi naitwa Mary Njogu na mimi pia kama vile mnaona asare yangu mimi ni mama mkatoliki na shiriki seminary na pia mimi ni vice moderator kule uh, nimetumwa hapa kumwakilisha uh, uh, mheshimiwa uh, senator wetu Jackson Mandago na kama vile mwenzangu amesema ni kwamba ametuma salamu za heri njema kwa kila mmoja wetu na mnajua ya kwamba senator amekuwa na sisi uh, tangu wakati alipokuwa governor hapa wa Singishu na hivyo amesema ataendelea kuwa nasi kama kanisa katoliki asanteni Mungu awabariki Tumsifu Yesu Kristo uh, Archbishop wetu Bishop Kimengich Jimbo la Eldoret nimesimama hapa kwa niaba ya Women Rep wa Singishu Madam Boshole amewatakia eri na fanaka ya Mwenyezi Mungu mubarikiwe Ah uh, Mnirusu kwa hivyo uh, kuto, ujumbe kutoka kwa governor yetu uh, ako nasi na ako tayari kushirikiana nasi kwa kazi yote uh, pili kwa sababu nimesikia kuna bishop Stina nafikiri bishop uh, ningependa kusihi kwamba sisi wote tu, kama cabinet ya koti moja tungealikwa tukuche wote pamoja na kavana ili kwa sababu hapa ni nyumbani hatuwezi kukoza kwa hivyo na, na sihi kwamba wakati huo sisi wote tuchiunge na hiyo dina ili miradi ya dasi yetu iese kuendelea asanteni sana wacha ni mkaribishe mwenzangu ili akaribishe his excellency the governor sang kutoka nandi asanteni sana Our Archbishop, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Kisumu, our host Bishop, Bishop Dominic Kimengich, our visiting bishops, all the clergy, religious men and women, CWA, CMA, PMC, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu daima na milele kwa majina ni daktari Yulita Mitei Cheruyot naibu wa governor wa Nandi County na niko nyumbani Baba Skofu ni ruhusu nitakie kila laheri jimbo letu la Eldoret na kwamba leo hii ni seme happy feast day tena ni celebrate the milestones ambazo tunashuhudia kwa siku hizi chache ambapo umekuwa kiongozi katika jimbo letu umekuwa askofu wetu na kwa miaka michache tu tumeshuhudia makubwa na tunataka kukupongeza baba askofu asante sana Baba Skofu nataka kukuhakikishia kwamba tunashirikiana na wewe tunakuombea na tunafurahia ile kazi ambayo inaendelea kichungaji katika jimbo letu la Eldoret. Mungu azidi kupanua mipaka akuongoze and today we have witnessed jambo ambalo hatujashuhudia hapo awali kugawa kazi 
na tunawatakia wale wote ambao wamepewa majukumu neema inayotosha ili kazi ambayo wewe baba askofu umepewa uweze kufikia kila pembe ya kaunti yetu kaunti zetu tatu jimbo letu la Eldoret Mungu azidi kukupa hekima inayotosha na tujalie afya kila mmoja wetu nikimalizia sote tunapitia muhula ama wakati mgumu wa kiuchumi na jinsi ambavyo tumeelezewa deni tulizo nazo ni kubwa mno na kwa hivyo sote tumeombwa tukaze kamba sio kwa sababu tumependa madeni yamekuwa mengi na sote tunajua kwamba dawa ya deni ni kufanya nini ni kulipa kwa hivyo wananchi wa tukufu wa Kenya tunaomba mtuwie radhi mtakuwa muda mchache alafu tutaweza kuinuka tena Mungu na wabariki watende mema mniruhusu sasa kwa heshima kuu kumkaribisha Governor Stephen Sang Governor wa Jimbo la Nandi County of Nandi Asante sana Tumsifu Yesu Kristo Daima na milele Bwana Yesu asifiwe Aki bishop wetu Bishop Muhatia Bishop wetu Daktari Dominic Mengich Ma bishop wetu visiting bishops Waumini wote kwanza nichukue nafasi hii kusema nimefurahia kufika hapa kusherekea na sisi wote katika family day yetu mimi nataka pia kupongeza wale viongozi ambao siku ya leo wamepewa jukumu ya kusaidiana na bishop wetu katika kuendeza kazi ya diocese yetu. Sisi kama viongozi tunawatakia kila laheri na tutawapatia support yeyote ambayo mnahitaji kutoka kwa serikali zetu za county. Pia nimekuja hapa kwa niaba ya viongozi wengine ambao hawakuweza kufika hapa. Koti moja governor host wetu waziri amesema pia governor wetu wa Elgeyo Marakwet ambaye ni mshiriki wa kanisa la Catholic siku ya leo bishop ametuma apology yuko kule county ako na viongozi PSS kushughulikia mambo ambayo yanaendelea kule pia niko hapa kwa niaba ya Felix Kosgei ambaye yeye ni head of public service ambaye amenituma kuweza kufika hapa na pia nimekuja kwa niaba ya viongozi wote kutoka county ya Nandi kusema ya kwamba bishop we are part and parcel of the work that is going on in our diocese we want to congratulate you particularly on this major project that you are working on tunajua ya kwamba kazi ya kanisa ni kubwa na itawezekana kwamba kila wakati kanisa lazima wakae chini kutafuta rasilimali kupitia kwa njia kama ya kufanya rambe doing a project of this nature will support the church and ensure that the church is able to get resources to be able to undertake the mandate ambayo mmepewa kwa hivyo we want to congratulate the team engineer uh, maritime and your team we as a county government we as leaders from this region we will support you and if you need any support from us we will be available pia ile project ambayo mnaendesha bishop kupitia kwa the bishops dinner Every other time we are invited we will be part and parcel of those programs because kanisa letu la catholic and more particularly our diocese you are our partners bishop in many areas hii mashule ambayo mko nazo tunafanya kazi pamoja na nyinyi hospitali mko nazo mnasaidiana na sisi kama serikali za county and therefore we are available to support you as you work round the clock to touch the lives of our people Bishop I am very excited because of the statement you made. Tuko na shida kubwa hapa Kerio Valley. Serikali inajaribu kwa njia ambayo inaweza. But there is a special role that the church has to play. And I'm very excited listening to you today. I know you have been doing a lot towards peace in that region. 
but I'm also excited about the initiative that you have just shared with us here, that you will be convening together with all the other bishops to think through CCP Akama Noreb. I am the chairman of the Noreb, eight counties. We have also sat down and agreed that we want to work with the religious leaders and other stakeholders to Akikishe Akwamba, Ishida Mbaime to Sumbua Pale, Kerio Valley, that we can be able to address it once and for all. So that and we are asking the church continue taking a special role and take your strategic role in supporting the government and the initiative by leaders so that we can have lasting peace because we cannot have peace in Nandi if Elgeo Marakwet is bleeding. We cannot have a good region if Baringo, Samburu, Trukana, West Pokot is not in peace. And therefore we are asking you, Bishop, to continue doing what you are doing. We are behind you. Finally, we also want to thank the church, not just here, not just the, you know, Kisumu Metropolitan, where Bishop, Archbishop, you lead, but the entire church in the Republic of Kenya. As indicated by Bishop, we were here last year. The situation in our country was not good. We thank God today we had elections that were peaceful and we had no issues within the country. As we stand here today, as indicated by Dr. Yulita, we yet have another big problem, the economy of our nation. We are asking all of us to support the government, and we as government also will work around the clock to see that we find initiatives and programs and projects that are going to support this country to get out of the economic challenges that we are in. The commitment from the government is that we will do everything within our means to change the economic situation in our country. Ili ikifikia mwaka kesho na miaka ambazo zinakuja tunapokuwa na project kubwa kama hii sisi kama wa Kristo tutakuwa na nguvu ya kuweza kusaidiana. Kwa hivyo sitasema mengi kushinda hapo. Bishop we wish you well. We support the church. We will continue working with you. Asanteni na Mungu awabariki. Nina matangazo machache Tangazo la kwanza Jinsi ya livo guzia baba askofu Ni kwamba tare 28 Mwezi huu wa sita Tutakuwa na misa Pale pastoral center Ambaye itaongozwa kwa ajili ya North Reef Peace Initiative Na misa hii itaongozwa na maaskofu Kutoka majimbo sita So wa kristu wote tunaomba tuweze Kufika pale misa itaanza sanne Pale pastoral center Na pia tarehe kumi mwezi wa saba mapadri wetu watakuwa uwanjani kucheza mpira so wa kristu wote muna alikuwa mweze kushangilia parish priest wako na kwa kando na kuluko sili kama atapoteza nguvu uweze kumsaidia pale mother of apostles seminary ndi tutakuwa na games ya mapadri alafu tarehe kumi na tisa mwezi wa nane jimbo letu litakuwa na siku kuu pale kabiet shirain so wote tutakuwa na pilgrimage so misa itaongozwa na baba askofu saa nne kamili tare kumi na tisa mwezi wa nane zote tutaelekea pale kabiet shirain kwa ajili ya kuiji tuweze kuomba kwa ajili ya familia zetu na saa kwa ajili ya jimbo letu zote tunakaribishwa pale na mwisho tangazo tu ni kwamba kama ujisikii vizuri kiafya tuna hospitali zetu mbili hapa Holy Trinity Hospital na St Brigitta ya Mumbi kuna hema katika mkono wangu wa kulia pale mwisho pale ndio utapata huduma ya kwanza alafu utasaidika so asante sana Mungu awabariki nasi kiroho na kimaisha basi nichukue nafasi hii kwa unyenyekevu kabisa ni mwalike baba askofu wetu mpendwa wa jimbo hili askofu Dominic Kimengichi ambaye ataendelea kutuelekeza tumpikie tumkaribishe baba askofu na makofi ya furaha ya furaha asante karibu baba askofu um, 
basi ni wakati ambapo tungependa kuwakaribisha maaskofu wetu watusalamie na moja e, baada ya kutusalamia kuna zawadi ambao atapewa ili atapewa ili tuharakishe haraka sana tuanze mambo ya family day nilisahau tu kutaja kwamba kati ya kuanzia sasa e, tunatarajia kwamba kwa majaliwa ya Mwenyezi Mungu tutafungua maparokia saba e, eight between now and the next family day okay so the first one itakuwa e, St Mary Kipkorgot parish tutafungua parish mkiwa tayari alafu segero e, alafu ngoisa alafu all saints annex alafu kule pande wa nandi kimugulmet parish tutafungua <laughs> alafu kiblombe tutagawanya e, tutafungua kiblombe alafu nandi kapsaga alafu kule marakwet chini kabisa kerio vale tot ama tot asante sana mungu abariki basi nitaanza um, tuanzie wapi sasa um huyu askofu ambaye yu karibu na mimi sitasema jina lake atataja jina lake na jimbo karibu sana eh asante sana baba askofu e, baba askofu mkuu na maaskofu wengine mapadre na wote e, na shukuru kwa kuwa hapa mara ya kwanza hii ni mara yangu ya kwanza kushuhudia siku ambayo e, inaitwa family day katika jimbo lolote kwa hivyo mimi niko darasani I am taking notes. <laughs> Nijue nianzie wapi. Kwa hivyo mnifundishe vizuri. Asanteni. Mimi ni Mark Kadima, askofu wa Jimbo la Bungoma. Okay, heri nafanaka kwa kila mtu. Sijasikia makofi ya askofu Mark Kadima. Asante sana. Askofu mkuu, askofu Morris, askofu wetu Dominic wa Jimbo Katoliki la Eldoret, maaskofu waliopo hapa pamoja na wanasiasa waliopo hapa na wakristu wote. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Ah uh, Elangu ni kuwashukuru kwa ajili ya mwaliko ambao mmenipatia kwa ajili ya sherehe ya siku hii ya leo sherehe ya familia ya jimbo letu la Eldoret mimi natoka jimbo hili la Eldoret parokia yangu ni hapa katedrali na nimekuja kuungana pamoja nanyi hata pia mimi niko darasani pia nimekuja kuchukua notes kwa hivyo ninasema asante sana Mungu azidi kubariki jimbo la Eldoret katika mambo yote mambo ya kiroho na maendeleo mengine asante sana Kwa majina naitwa askofu Juma Henry Odonya kutoka jimbo la Katoliki la Kitale Haya makofi kwa askofu Henry anapopokezwa zawadi asante sana barua ndogo ya kusema karibu tena Mimi ili nisisahau ninaitwa Bishop Michael Cornelius 
Otieno Odiwa Kutoka jimbo la Homa Bay Sasa ukisikia Homa Bay si ni mbali Mimi ni mgeni Lakini sio mgeni vile Mimi mizizi yangu iko hapa LD Mimi ni ex aluna wa Mother of Apostles Moas eh, Kwa hivyo tokewa kule enzi hile Mwaka wa thamanini na nene na thamanini na tano Katedrali likuwa kule seminari Hii ya Sacred Heart ilijengwa tukiona Hivyo basi mimi siyo mgeni sana ama sivyo Basi ya Skofu Dominic na kushukuru kwa mwaliko Na kila mwaja wetu wanafahamu mnyama na itwe chura ama sivyo Kuna msemo kwamba hautaona chura ikiruka ruka mchana peupe bila kitu kuwa nyuma yaki Kwa hivyo ujiadhari sana uchunge sana ukiona chura ikiruka ruka Naeza kuwa na kimbizwa na nini? <laughs> Hivyo basi na sisi kuja hapa kwetu sio bure tu Tulikubaliana kama metropolitan Kwamba tutakuwa tukijumuika pamoja Kila moja wetu akiwa na family day Na kwa huo Toka kubaliana kwamba ikifika hata na yetu watu wa Elgeo Marakwet watu wa Wansingishu watu wa Nandi jinsi tulivyo mtakuwa homa bay ama sivyo Bishop tulikubaliana hivyo hivyo basi e, tunawalikeni kila mmoja wenu homa bay tarehe 18 mwezi wa nane. Karibuni Homa Bay Pongezi ya skofu Nikisikia kwamba Jengo lile limefika pale Bila dini e, Mi nasikia wivu sana <laughs> Kwa hivyo mtu saidia na hata na sisi Kule Homa Bay tufanya jinsi mnavyo fanya Asante sana Governor Sang Ulikuwa na sisi tukiwa Siku hile tulikuwa tunazika Masisters wasichana kutoka hapa Nyinyi ni watu wa upendo kwa hivyo upendo wenu mu extend kule Homa Bay. Mbarikiwe sana siku njema kwa siku ya Family Day. Asante sana makofi ye ya Skofu Michael. Asante sana pokeza wadi mwaliko ili uje tena. Kwa sababu ya muda o protocols observed heshima zenu tunazinua juu zaidi mimi ni Askof John Binda kutoka jimbo la ah, kumbe mnajua <laughs> asante <laughs> na ningependa kumshukuru uh, bishop Kimengich kwa kunikaribisha niweze kuwakilisha Wa Kristo wetu, mapadri wetu, watawa wetu wote, walodua Kwa hivyo walinituma, nikase wakas, niambia nije, nilete risala za salamu zao Za heri njema wakati tunasherekia pamoja nanyi Family Day ya Diocese ya Eldoret Wakasema tuko pamoja katika yote Pili walinituma nije kuwashukuru Kwa sababu mnajua askofu kimegichi ni yeye aliniachia mamlaka kule Si kumbuka Na wakaniambia nije ni washukuru kwa sababu Pamoja na kwamba alitoka jimbo la lodwa Bado tunaushirikiano wa karibu sana na yeye katika kutekeleza kazi za jimbo la lodwa Kwanza ametupatia mapadri 
Mapadri wawili kutoka jimbo la hapa Eldoret wanafanya kazi katika jimbo langu. Makofi kwa askofu. Na pia niko na marafiki wengi ambao tunawaita marafiki wa Lord ambao ni baadhi ya wakristo wa jimbo la Eldoret ambao hata siku ya familia huwa wanafunga safari wanakuja mpaka lodwa kwa sababu ya huo ushirikiano mzuri ningependa kuwashukuru wote hao marafiki zetu na kualika nyinyi nyote ili muweze kututembelea kule lodwa jimbo la lodwa ni gumu lakini kuna furaha zake hasa katika utume Nimeona watawa wengi hapa tunawaalika. Nimesikia Bishop Kimangicha anafungua e, parokia nane Ningetamani sana kufungua tano lakini wafanyakazi wangu ni wachache. Kwa hivyo naomba maaskofu wale wengine walioko hapa wafikirie kama Bishop Kimengichi wasaidie jimbo la Lord kwa sababu ni itaji sasa hivi. Kusudi sisi wote tusonge mbele kwa pamoja kazi kwenu <laughs> familia day <laughs> kumalizia shukrani sana kwa kila kitu Mungu awabariki na aendelee kufanikisha hii siku kubwa katika jimbo la Eldoret asandeni sana Mungu awabariki makofi kwa askofu Mbinda makofi strong kidogo Mwashamu baba askofu mkuu wa jimbo kula Kisumu askofu Dominic Kimengich wa Eldoret na maskofu ambao wamefika hapa mapadre e, watawa wa kike na wa kiume wa Kristu tumsifu Yesu Kristu mimi namwakilisha baba askofu Yosefu Obanyi Sakwe askofu wa jimbo Katolika Kakameka kama umetumwa kwa akilisha au semi kitu unatoa tu salamu eh? na yeye anatakia askofu Kimengich na Jimbo la Eltoret eh, siku njema ya familia ya mwaka huu ili muweze kufanikiwa na kuendelea zaidi Mungu awabariki Asante sana makofi kwa mwakilishi wa askofu Padri mkuu wa Jimbo la Kakamega Asante sana Okay. Um, zawadi na mwaliko huo. Kabla tuja karibisha askofu mkuu e, pokea pokeni salamu kutoka askofu wa Kisi Joseph Mairura angeweza kuja lakini ametuma mkono wake tutatangaziwa baadaye. Na pia tumepokea e, salamu kutoka kwa askofu E, mstaafu wa Kitale Morris Crowley anawasalimia sana na anaendelea kutuombea basi sasa ningependa kumkaribisha askofu mkuu wetu wa Kisumu Ajdauses askofu mkuu Morris Mohatia Magumba karibu sana makofi kwake God is good and all the time. Kwanza kabisa mimi nawaletea salamu kutoka UK. Naletea salamu kutoka United Kisumu. Tuko sawa na tunaendelea vizuri. Nimefurahiwa sana kushiriki katika sikukuu ya familia yenu Eldoret ambayo ni ya kipekee sana kwangu. Askofu Dominic amekuwa jirani wangu kwa miaka kumi na tatu. Ulikuwa majirani alipokuwa lodwa 
alikuwa ananipiga vita hapo karibu na Baringo lakini wa nilikuwa namsamea tu sababu watu wake walikuwa wanavuka uka kuja kwangu wakati mwingine wangu walikuwa wanavuka kwenda kwake alafu mambo yanaendelea hivyo alafu alipokuja Eldoret tena tumeendelea kuwa majirani lakini ujirani upande huu upande huu mwana governor ni mzuri sana ujana upande huu ni mzuri sana tuko sawa kabisa mimi ningependa kusema neno moja tu Askofu Dominic asande kukutualika kama maaskofu wa Kisumu Metropolitan. Na vile askofu Otieno alieleza tulikuwa tumekubaliana tayari kwamba tuungane mkono, tusaidiane katika kukuza majimbo yetu. Kwa sababu uenezaji wa injili sasa umo mabegani mwetu sisi wa Kristo wa Afrika misaada ambayo tulikuwa tunapata kutoka nje imedidimia wakati mwingine haipo kabisa sasa ni jukumu letu kuendeleza kazi ya uinjilishaji na mkutano kama huu wa familia kuja pamoja kusherehekea misa takatifu liturujia kusikilizana itasaidia sana katika kuendesha majimbo yetu ya songa mbele katika uinjilishaji na katika maendeleo. Wa Kristo wa Eldoret, pongezi sana kwa kazi ambayo mnafanya. Mimi nilikuwa hapa mwaka uliopita hilo jengo lilikuwa chini sana. Saa hizi nimesonga liko juu zaidi. Hilo jengo litachangia baadaye sana katika kazi ya uinjilishaji. Na Mungu abariki kila mfuko ambao unachangia kazi ya uinjilishaji katika majimbo yetu yote. Na leo pia tunabariki Mungu awabariki wale ambao wamekuja hapa kufika ili kazi tuliyoianzisha ilianzisha iendelee. Mimi ningependa kuwalika kwa siku yetu ya Family Day ambayo itakuwa tarehe nne mwezi wa kumi. Jumamosi baada ile ya National Prayer Day. Asa wa Kristo Eldoret mkienda National Prayer Day Jumamosi muzirudi huko mpitie Ahero alafu mkuje Kisumu tukishamaliza family day yetu alafu mtafanya nini alafu mtakuja nyumbani mnaalikwa tujenge kanisa pamoja na Mungu abariki kanisa letu asanteni sana Eh, pokeni salamu pia kutoka kwa askofu mkuu wa Nairobi eh, Philip Anyolo hata naye ametuma mkono wake Yes Yes Tumsifu Yesu Kristo Baba askofu mkuu Baba askofu wetu wa jimbo letu maaskofu ambao umefika hapa Zawadi tulio hapa ni utamu wa jimbo letu Utamu wa jimbo letu na pengine kwa askofu wa Kitale kwa sababu mmekuja kwetu baba askofu wa Bungoma Zawadi moja ambayo tukuleta hapa ni gunia moja moja ya mahindi ili muonje utamu wa mahindi ya Eldoret So usiende kabla hujachukua zawadi ya mahindi ya Eldoret ni tamu sana. Familia yetu tunakula ugali na ugali yetu ni tamu zaidi. Asanteni sana kwa kuja. Baba askofu wa jimbo letu, naomba kwa, kwa heshima yako niwaalike governor na deputy governor na wawakilishi wa mawaziri wa hapa waje wote hapa ili uwazawadi kwa sababu wamekuja kwetu leo itakuwa bora zaidi karibu waheshimiwa
Hapa askofu tunajua hatuja kupatia zawadi. Zawadi yetu kubwa ni sisi. Zawadi yetu kubwa ni sisi. Tuko tayari kufanya kazi na wewe kwa kila namna. Munipigie makofi kama ni ukweli. Napenda baba askofu utubariki lakini mpenzi mtazamaji wa Captain TV tumekuwa nawe katika uwanja wa kathedrali wa Eldoret Diocese na tumai kwamba umefurahia kuwa nasi na kwa wakati huu hatuna budi kulivunja uh, kulikunja jamvi la sherehe ya siku ya leo hadi wakati mwingine endelea kutazama Captain TV kitambulisho katoriki nami kwa ageni ni sister Esther Muturi Capuchin TV, your Catholic broadcasting ministry. I would like to appreciate the Capuchin TV. We are very, very grateful. And we always encourage people of goodwill, our Christians, to continue supporting the Capuchin TV. The only Catholic TV. The only one in Kenya. Imagine, the only one. So let us support them. They cover most of our masses here at the Basilica. So as individuals, as groups, let us support uh, Caption TV because they continue uh, reaching out, reaching out to the people of God, wherever they are, to be more and more uh, nourished uh, spiritually. So Caption TV, thank you. May God bless your ministry. Tuendele kufanya kazi, baby number 5106789. Account name Caps TV. You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Mada yetu kui ilikuwa nini? Naamu? Nyakati. Ilikuwa juu ya nyakati. Mpigie makofi. So we are going to use a model. Open your wings and fly. Cool. Stand at attention. Attention. Cool. Attention. Cool. Scout at ease. A typical morning for learners at Our Lady of Grace and Compassion School in Mundika, Busia County. A mixed elementary and junior secondary school committed to making a difference for the bright future of children. 
School. The school was established the year 2012 under the leadership of Sister Ethel and Sister Immaculate, initially as an ECD and during the first three years we had a, a population of uh, 82 learners. Sponsored by the Benedictine Sisters of Grace and Compassion, we anchor our pedagogy on the Catholic mantra of holistic formation. Learners can get the, the formal education and they can also get the holistic formation to become people that can be relied on in the many years to come. We are a Catholic school, but we don't discriminate. We take even the Muslims, we take any other denomination, we respect their religious standards. We have also the teachers who are not Catholics. So they give them their spiritual food they need. Prayer life is more important wherever they are. Even the Muslim, we give them their chance on Friday to pray. We have regular programs to, to say Mass, celebrate Holy Mass, and also to give directions in the pastoral field. If it's not me, the sisters also monthly, they bring in priests to celebrate Mass and to encourage the learners to make the sacrament of confession and to those who are willing to, to be educated in the faith, they also do catechesis. With the bearing of butterflies, we transform young minds as we inspire children to flap their academic and talent wings beyond the sky limits. At Grace and Compassion School, we nurture and we cater for every learner's talents and abilities. We have a variety of indoor and outdoor games like the darts, chess, scrabble and ludos. Outdoor games, learners engage in activities such as volleyball, netball, handball, tug of war, and we ensure that every learner enjoys each activity during their leisure time. Since inception in 2012, Our Lady of Grace and Compassion School has maintained an upward academic performance in the national examinations, qualifying students for admission into national, county and sub-county high schools. I was born in 2019, so I was in grade 7. I was in the school of management, I was in the school of management, I was in the school of management, na natumai kwamba kulingana na performance hata mpaka tunatumai wasazi wengine watakuja kuleta watoto wao delight in an ambient school environment with plenty and spacious learning and boarding facilities welcome to our boarding facilities these are very very attractive and modern facilities very spacious self contained for both boys and girls all their needs are catered for starting from grade 4 to class 8. For those who are small, we provide the services for laundry and we have the matron and patron, boarding master, here I am. And also we have the residential school nurse who will take care of our pupils when they are unwell. So choose us and you will not regret. We offer extra computer literacy training to all our pupils, transport services to both day and boarding scholars, as we pride ourselves for our competent teaching and non-teaching staff. All the learners from grade 1 to class 8 have computer lessons. We have three computer teachers. My name is Tamara Ngadi, I'm in grade 6 and I learn from Our Lady of Grace and Compassion School. We are very grateful for our teachers, very caring and up to the task. They touch the lives of many. May God bless their work of hand. We get a balanced diet, well-cooked and served meals, very delicious indeed. 
we also eat meat. With our sufficient modern facilities and ample room for expansion, we envision to put up a secondary school to assimilate pupils within and from other elementary schools. We have the sisters who are teachers in this school. We'll find them in the library, we'll find the teachers, the sisters leading in our computer lab. Your children are safe in our hands as grace and compassion benedictine sisters. We have a, a very strong guiding and counseling department. In case of anything, we quickly come in and guide and counsel these children. Enroll today at Our Lady of Grace and Compassion Primary and Junior Secondary School. For admission procedures or requisite requirements, contact the school administration on 0722-976-238. My Our Lady of Grace and Compassion School, Mundika, touching lives forever. Kima University College, a prestigious constituent college of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa run by the Jesuits, has scaled up the heights in offering lucrative academic courses to scholars committed to visionary and ethical professionalism that spurs greater social transformation. The Hekima Institute of Peace Studies and International Relations is offering a six-day intensive and accredited certificate course in conflict resolution, peace building and reconciliation. The 18-hour online course Kahoot will commence training on Monday 26th of June and complete on Monday 3rd of July 2023. Enroll now and expand your knowledge in contextual analysis of the African conflicts. Africa political systems and conflict resolution mechanisms, the challenge of terrorism, religion and interreligious dialogue, practice skills in engaging with social political conflicts in Africa, reconciliation mechanisms and social change as well as case study analysis in groups. Join Hekima University College and interact with great minds and instructors atop the list of teaching experts. Apply today and join a spectrum of fortified national and international peace and reconciliation protagonists serving in governmental and non-governmental organizations. For requirement details and how to apply, visit our head offices at the interjection of Joseph Kanyede and Gong Road in Nairobi or call us on 0729-755-905 or 0733-616-865. Hekima University College, we are the creative vision bearers, preparing students beyond the fourth industrial revolution. Trust all mini insurance brokers to plan and bless your insurance needs. We are a project of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, 
established in 1997 to offer insurance brokerage, risk management and financial services to the Catholic Church and the general public. Well, many insurance brokers, they have been working with us almost 10 years, over 10 years now, and they have been helping us. We have with them uh, health insurance for our conference, all the priests and brothers in our congregation province, Kenya, Tanzania. And also we have a partnership with them insuring our vehicles every year. We have 25 years of proven trustworthy, reliability, professionalism, accountability and commitment to our clients' needs. I invest through Omini Insurance Brokers. I invest in money market products which offer competitive interest rates. As a young business person, it is always good to invest your money so as to grow your business. Our services include negotiating for the best comprehensive insurance covers and the most competitive prices on behalf of our clients, assisting in claims follow-up and documentation, and arranging for premium financing. All our solutions are personalized and tailored to suit the different needs of our customers. For the last 10 years, we have been insuring through our many insurance brokers. We have had a very nice business relationship with them. Uh, whenever we roll a claim, it's normally paid on time. They are very prompt in terms of that. Some of our products include motor vehicle insurance, individual family and group medical solutions, home insurance cover, group welfare and Jumuiya funeral expense cover, travel insurance, business insurance covers, school combined cover, and church insurance cover. Having had more experience with our media insurance brokers, I will recommend you to get in touch with them and learn more on the excellent products they offer. Grab a free quote at 722 403 or send an email to admin at wellmininsurance.co.ke or visit us on the fourth floor of new Walmini house west wing in westlands nairobi Walmini insurance brokers with you always kapuchin tv kitambulisho katoliki